So, uh, Gareth, welcome back to the race course and uh, some good memories of playing here. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to be back. Nice to see it on a nice balmy summer evening. So, um, yeah, great to be back. What's, what's some of your uh, standout memories from, from, from playing for Wrexham? I think um, obviously getting to, through to the playoffs um, in my first season. I think, uh, you know, we had some difficulties during that year. You know, we, we made a, an average start and sort of galvanised and, and gathered a bit of pace um, after that. And, you know, it resulted in, in us coming ever so close. And then obviously after myself leaving, the club under Andy went ever so close again. Um, I think one thing it did prove is it, and it always will be, is it's a difficult league to get out of in this current format. Obviously, you know, you've, you've been a very experienced footballer, played at the highest levels, but do you still think Captain Wrexham is, is quite a big achievement as well? Yeah, definitely for me, especially being a, and a Welshman and playing for my country. Um, it, was a, it was a really nice way for me to finish my career, um, playing for a, for a, a massive Welsh club. Um, you know, I was just talking with some of the guys before about the way the way the games changed, the way the clubs changed, the way that cities changed. I played here for I played here for Man City uh, back in '98. I think it was Christmas '98 in a packed house, and we ended up winning the game one 0 and we went on a run that season and, and got into the playoff final. And it just goes to show how close the clubs were, you know, 15, 16 years ago. And you still keep an eye out for for Wrexham results now and again. Yeah, definitely. It's one of the first results I look for. I've had that many old clubs. I have, I have quite a few to follow. <laughs> but um, yeah, always keep an eye on, on Wrexham. And you know, some of the boys are still playing here um, that I played with. And obviously, you know, Michael Oakes is still a part of it with the goalkeeping side. So I speak to Mike quite a bit. And, and in terms of how things are going, and uh, you know, I really want Wrexham to do well. And hopefully this season they get that little bit of good luck and, um, and get back to where where the club rightfully should be. Obviously, you're involved with City now. Just explain to us what, what, what your job is with the club. I've been under-16 coach for uh, three seasons. I think I've left uh, Wrexham, so um, it's fantastic. Uh, great being back at a, a club, working for a club that I played for. Um, a lot of changes, obviously, since when I played for the club. But, um, no, it's great. And, and having had that experience of playing for the club, it's great for me to be able to pass that on to the players in terms of especially under 16, moving on to scholarship, first team football, hopefully, um, having had that experience to be able to try and transmit that to the players. But uh, no, it's great, it's a great place to be. You know, we're moving to a new academy that's being built at the moment. Um, and the club is just, it's moving on at, a, at an alarming pace. But, um, you know, very fortunate to be there myself personally and, uh, and loving every minute of it. Gareth, thank you very much for no taking the time to